Welcome to night two of the Jenny Theatre Cardboard Concert Series. During these COVID times, we may have relaxed our dress code and we may have quite an eclectic mix in the crowd tonight, but our performers are still of the highest order. It may be tricky for you in the audience, but please, those at home, get ready to roll up the rug so you can toe-tap along to the titillating tunes of the Mid-North. coming to make us feel excellent. Um, hopefully everyone at home can see the crowd in, in the uh, Jetty Theatre tonight. It is fantastic. Oh, yeah. We've got Mr T, there's Darth Vader, there's the Queen. We've got, um, who else yeah. have we got in the audience yeah, Ned tonight? Ned Kelly's over there. Ned yeah. Kelly. Dame Edna. SpongeBob. We've yeah. got um, a lot of school students from the Arama School uh, up the back there. Mm -hmm. Carlo. I'm sure you'll see them throughout the mm -hmm. evening. We're the Mid-North and um, we're three of them. Uh, we normally have a double bass and a banjo, but uh, tonight we're playing as a, th a trio, and uh, we're going to play the first song, Nellie Kane. One, two, three, Thank you very much, Lizzie. I appreciate that. That's uh, our queen. Queen Lizzie. Queen Lizzie. She comes to all our gigs. In fact, I saw her le here last week at uh, Jean Lille's gig. Uh, there's a few repeat offenders, a few people that love live music. Um, there's some guy in a... Um, what's that? Sluggo. <laughs> Swim, <laughs> swimsuit. Sluggo. Uh, that is Im Im weirdly impressive. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four. The bells are ringing. People they are singing. The band is playing fast and loud. You hooping and a howling, dancing on the stone. First time I saw you, I did sing. Delta May, I'll marry you someday. Delta May, I'll marry you someday.
play around one mic and so it is a little different with the uh, social isolating uh, the social distancing that we've got to um, we are perform point, like this. We are 1.5 meters away. We are but normally we, we dance and, <laughs> and move in on the mic and barge each other out of the way but uh, anyway those that have seen us would know that. Yeah. One good thing for me is that normally John and I are much closer so I'm dodging a fiddle to the eye, a bow <laughs> to the eye so this is kind of nice this yeah. aspect of it. Um, here's a song called Waterbound, and uh, whereas these days a lot of folks are stuck in their houses and trying to get out, but this is a song about uh, being out, stuck in a flood and trying to get home. Yes. There you go. One, two, Chickens are grown in the open. 
Thank you, thank you. Katie Crane, lead guitar, shredding in that one. Thank you. Um, well done. And John Woolhouse on fiddle and mandolin over here. And Scott Collins on mandolin and guitar. <laughs> and songwriter extraordinaire. So, well, the Mississippi industry. Well, this is a song that features Katie Crane on uh, lead vocals. It's called I Jump the Mississippi. And today, I need an answer, and I won't 
Nice one. Thank you. I keep hearing someone, I don't know if you guys can hear it at home, but I keep hearing someone in the audience say, I am your father. Oh, it's Darth. It's Darth. I think it must be. I can see Darth Vader. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so we've got Lucy Lou next. All right, so this is a song that uh, my son and I wrote together. Uh, we got out of the surf um, down at Wombrel Beach and uh, he was humming this tune and I asked him what it was and uh, he said, I made it up, Dad. And I said, great, and I stole it. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we wrote this song and he's got 50% of the royalties. So he's managed to buy half a Mars bar in his life, which is excellent, through the royalties. Yeah. <laughs> very, very profitable. about you at home, but uh, the audience here are up and dancing, there's a whole lot of flat footing going on, a little bit of rock and roll dancing too, so uh, hopefully in your lounge rooms you are um, move the rugs aside and the, the dining tables, you've got a little bit of room. I wonder what you're eating tonight, we haven't eaten yet, we're going to eat after this, but hopefully you've had like delicious pizza or hamburgers or something excellent. <laughs> Can you get takeaway these days? I think you can. You can, all right. Well, hopefully there's some takeaway going on as well. So if, right. you've, if you've rolled the carpet back, this one's a waltz. <clears throat> this is a waltz. And uh, this song is an original, um, like the last one, and um, 
It uh, features two places. One is Briarfield, just outside of Bellingen, and one is Maxville, just down from Bellingen. And uh, we, we had a story where there was love gone wrong and um, the, I guess the, the nasty person, if you will, comes from Maxville. So we're sorry that we've had to paint someone as the devil or the evil person in this one. Um, so anyone from Maxville, we do apologise. Um, and Briarfield, well, you know. They're the good guys. They're the good guys. Yeah. Let's hear it for Briarfield. This is called Briarfield. A one, two, three, two, two. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. We appreciate it.
Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we've got a song called Molly and Tenbrooks. This is a love song between two racehorses. Um, and they have to race each other. And uh, anyway, it's about that. So Molly and Tenbrooks. John Woolhouse is going to play banjo on this one. Man of many talents, many talents. So hopefully, hopefully, in the next six years, we'll be able to see a live gig again. But until that time, we have the Cardboard Crowd series. I think uh, next week we've got Tanuki, um, Brett, Georgie, and others. So that's Tanuki, they're excellent. And then I think the following week we might have... Um, then Jolene, Ooh, which will be very excellent as well. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned. I know that there's a lot, a lot of people in the audience tonight have uh, come back from last week and they're here again tonight. There are some more. I think there's now 160 in the audience tonight, which is fantastic. Um, so if you do feel like making an audience member, um, please do and drop them in to the Jetty Theatre and then uh, next week we might have 200 people in the audience. Yep, there's room for a few. Room for a couple more. Yeah. So often we have a, uh, a hot bluegrass player or two on banjo playing with us, but um, this is a claw hammer banjo, so um, it'll be a little bit more old timey. There more you old go. Time. Thank you, John. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate the clapping. Very good. Who would have thought the cardboard could make so much raucous applause, but we're really appreciating it. We, we like it a lot. Thank you. All right. So we're going to do a Cajun uh, song now, and this is from Louisiana in uh, the States. And down, um, down Katie's going to sing this one. Down in the swamps. Down the swamps. And um, do you want to tell us about the Cajun people, John? From Canada originally. That's it. 
and then they were very poor and they moved down to cheap land in the swamps of Louisiana and John spoke an interesting version of French which Katie is going to sing this song in Cajun French. Now I have forgotten but how does the, the name Cajun come about? Was it ah, it's from Arcadians. Arcadians. Yes. Arcadia up near Canada somewhere, Nova Scotia. So Arcadians and then it got shortened to Cadians Cajun. and then Cajuns. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay good. We've all learned something tonight. <laughs> I was doing some homeschooling with my oh. son today and I learnt about ancient Egypt today. So I'm learning stuff as well, which is fantastic. Excellent. <laughs> Take us there, John. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> It goes so quickly, they're like little punk songs from the, from the past. So this is the kind of music that, um, you know, pre-big uh, beat dance and um, house and um, techno, <laughs> this would have been the dance music of the past where um, you would uh, ride a horse or a cart to a barn or to uh, some sort of community hall and then you would um, dance all night long, uh, maybe imbibing something, maybe not, and you'd try and meet your wife or husband, and then you would uh, get up in the morning and go home. So anyway, we're hoping to bring some of that essence to you tonight. With a little gospel song. With a little gospel song. Of, are we doing Going Home? Let's do Going Home. It's Going Home. This is a great little number. I hope you like it. It's one of the unwritten rules of bluegrass music is to include a gospel song in your set. All right. <laughs> Actually, just before we yeah. start, I would like to give a shout out to Jamie and Jake in Sydney. Yes. Um, my family, I've got my mum and dad watching in Sydney. So, hi mum and dad, how are you? And uh, I've got um, nephews and nieces um, up in Townsville and uh, right Brisbane, on. I hope. I hope they're watching, otherwise, you know, they won't get a Chrissy card. <laughs> um, Katie, anyone you want to shout out to? Um, shout out to just the fam at home and, <laughs> yeah. Everyone who would normally be here coming yeah. to see us play locally. So anyone who comes to the brewery or spare room or a regular, our regular friends. Yeah, nice one. John, anyone? 
Could be a few surprises around. I'm not sure who's watching. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. He's keeping it close, very, very close <laughs> to the chest there. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Another original. Um, this is kind of our hit, if you will. Um, it went to number one on the AMRAP charts for uh, a month, and then it was in the top ten for three months. So uh, it's called Rosewood. We hope you like it.
night train heading for the sun Your skin looks worn and underdone Dyes are spinning round when they hit the ground Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate the audience being here and the uh, applause. Uh, I love that. Um, if it wasn't, it would just be quite awkward after a song, wouldn't it? You'd just be like, okay. <laughs> next. What do we have next? Can you go straight to where the sun shines? Sure. Um, yeah, let's oh, do that. Do you want to? Oh, okay. Well, whatever, whatever you decide, John. Mine is more of a long thing, so I'll step through. But um, sure, where the sun shines. Okay, where the sun shines. All right, we are on the fly. This is live, live, <laughs> happening right now. Indecision, decision. We're going against the set list, and we are going into awesome territory now. This is a song called "Where the Sun Shines." So this is another original. This is off our um, uh, first album, and uh, it goes something like this: One, two, three. I hear you the dog keys and they like to set your bags down on the floor. I know from your smile you don't know that I know you be cheating on me no more. Got my ticket in my bag, I'm leaving you at last. I'm gonna find where the sun's shining. Heard there's greener grass on the north, and moving fast and going where the sun's shining. Is that the last song? It's not. <laughs> Depends how what? long we're allowed to go for. <laughs> oh, encore! <laughs> <laughs>
What encore? What encore? Um, I was going to milk it. I was going to get the, the cardboard crowd to start yelling, Encore! Mid North! You're amazing! We love you! Katie Crane! You're the best! Woo! Woo! Yeah, maybe we can do that. Darth, get involved in this. I am your father. So you will do as I say. And um, Queen Elizabeth is here, as we said. Um, Queen, I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, right next to you is Dame Edna. I hope you've both enjoyed it. Along with everyone at home, we certainly have. We are the Mid-North. This has been ridiculous and excellent. Um, it's super weird and super great <laughs> looking out at all the different faces. There's monsters, there's weird clowns, there's jokers, there's um, uh, people. There's like Frankenstein. There's, I guess, people that have done a portrait of themselves. There's kids, school kids. There's a guy, as I said, in Sluggos. <laughs> it's just so Tony Abbott and weird. <laughs> Ned, Ned Kelly down in the front row has been asking for an encore. Yeah. Ned, Ned Kelly down there, the minions. Uh, hopefully you can see all this at home, but it's um, fantastic. And well done to everyone who's made some of the crowd excellent. All right, we're going to go out now on this encore, uh, which is Ruben's Train. There you go. All right. All right.
so much. We'll see you next time.